Thank you. Now to a story you'll see only on two. Right now, the search is on for this woman accused of causing a lot of damage at a local synagogue. KPRC 2's Devin Clark picks up the story from there. The Jewish temple behind me is considered a holy place, but they say last week a woman broke in and desecrated it, leaving behind thousands of dollars worth of damages. And instead of showing up to her court hearing today, they say she came back and did even more harm. So the damage is is immeasurable. Last Saturday, Harris County prosecutors say a rabbi getting ready to officiate a bar mitzvah at Congregation Emmanuel walked into an unholy surprise. He found an individual on the pulpit. Assistant Harris County District Attorney Erica Windsor says that individual was Ezra Law and she wasn't there to pray. There were several religious items that had been removed from their place. Um, some were damaged. There was red wine that had been consumed by this individual and also spilled. The allegations get even more sacrilegious. Most importantly, there was a Torah scroll that was removed from the Holy Ark and spread out on the floor um, and there was red wine that was spilled on that scroll. A Torah is Jewish holy scripture written with a quill and ink that could take years to scribe. It can't just be repaired. It might have to be replaced. Law was arrested, but prosecutors say instead of showing up to her arraignment today, she had actually returned to the congregation. She allegedly screamed and shouted at preschool children during their chapel service, then left before officials could arrive. A warrant was quickly issued for her arrest. Make no mistake, if you're competent and you're sane and you engage in conduct that offends both our sensibility in the penal code, you're going to have to answer for it. The bar mitzvah was able to proceed last Saturday. We were told that Law's mental state will be evaluated once she's booked into the Harris County Jail, but for now she's being charged with felony criminal mischief inside of a place of worship. And investigators are working to determine whether her actions also classify as a hate crime. Devin Clark, KPRC 2 News.